Hello folks and welcome back to day three of our E39 DC to AC swap courtesy of our sponsors Dave's Garage. Now, uh, so what we've got for you today is the AC motor and adapter plate and gearbox are going to be put together and then I will probably spare you the vision of me uh, horsing this stuff into the car as you have seen me do many times before. But I did think that we would speak a little bit about a couple of modifications here uh, on our motor. So the first thing is this motor in the original Peugeot vehicle was basically mounted um, on the front and on the back because it was a transverse mounted uh, system. Now in the E39, we're obviously longitudinally mounted so we need a way to uh, attach to the motor frame and the motor frame is aluminium. Uh, so therefore we have rolled this 50 by 10 flat into a band that's going around the motor and uh, we'll be putting uh, some bolts here to pull that guy tight and that should then give me the ability to weld on um, two mountings uh, so that we can sling the motor from the middle. Um, up here on the front you may notice that we've put our tachometer sensor in here and on the on the uh, coupler, I have some horribly welded 8mm nuts on there that will basically give us two pulses per revolution uh, to, um, to give us a tachometer signal. Now, theoretically, we don't need that because we'll have CAN bus uh, messages from the inverter that we can send to the car, but I'm figuring... Uh, you know why not fit this here and not need and not need it rather than not fit it and then need it for some other reason. So, all right, I got to get the gearbox bolted up here, um, and then we will, yeah, get it into the car hopefully this evening. And the uh, music is provided courtesy of Dave. So, okay, uh, I get this done and we'll come back then uh, when we have some more progress made. Alrighty folks, good news. It's in and it fits. So, there you go. Um, got our, uh, just put the cross member on the back of the gearbox for now. I've just got the motor sitting on a, just on a block there. Um, so next part of the procedure now will be uh, pretty much getting the mounts done from the band to the original engine mountings. We've got to get the inverter in here, new power steering pump, got to hook up the brake pump, sort out a new high voltage junction box and sort out a charger um, because that's going to be a little bit of a challenge for us. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do in that regard yet. I'm thinking about sticking a Gen 2 Tesla charger in here. Just a little worried about the battery voltage. Uh, so, and by the way, there is much more interesting content going on on the car behind me. Uh, but we're not going to be uh, showing that just quite yet. Now, so, uh, that's it. Uh, just a lot of... Um, just a lot of, you know, just tearing stuff out, putting it in. But great to have the AC motor in. We will see you back uh, next time. So, until then, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. And happy AC motor installing. <laughs>